I think Mike Trout could raise his profile tomorrow if he decided that he wanted to engage a little more fully, give up some more of his free time, and that's his choice. I mean, that, that really Last month, the commissioner of Major League Baseball said Mike Trout isn't famous because Mike Trout doesn't want to be famous. Well, tough luck, Mike. People should know about your greatness. On the occasion of your 27th birthday, we decided to spread your gospel. Here's why Mike Trout is the god of war. The most popular way to judge a player's all-around contribution to his team is a stat called wins above replacement, or war. Mike Trout is truly the god of that stat. He's leading the majors in the metric this year, and if that holds, he will have led in five of the seven full MLB seasons he's played. Because of that, Mike Trout has zoomed up the list of the all-time greats. He already ranks 94th in career war, ahead of such Hall of Famers as Yogi Berra, Andre Dawson, Willie Stargell, and Mike Piazza, all before he's even turned 27. Here's a chart of every player's war by age. This line is Mickey Mantle, and there's Ken Griffey Jr., and over here is A-Rod. And now, here's Trout on our chart. He's been the most valuable batter in history for his age when he was 21, 22, 23, 24, and if things stay on anything close to their current pace, 26. Nobody's career has ever begun with such sustained greatness. He's the best player in the game. He has been for a long time. He's Mickey Mantle for this generation. What a crazy play by Mike Trout. Okay, all this war talk is well and good, but it doesn't really tell us why Trout is so dominant. To figure that out, we'll need to dig a little deeper and look at Trout as a hitter, as a runner, and as a defender. Let's start with hitting. Only 46 players, other than Trout, have a career batting average at least 50 points higher than what the major league average was during the span of their career. It's a mark reserved for the Ty Cobbs, Tony Gwynns, and Rod Carews of the world. Out of those 46, only six have an isolated power as high as Trout's, which speaks to his rare ability to both wrap out singles and swing for the fences. And out of those six, only three, Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, and Lou Gehrig, also walked as much as Trout does. So in terms of combining contact skills, slugging, and plate discipline, Trout is on an extremely short list of the greatest hitters ever. Now let's talk base running, because Trout is so much more than just a pure hitter. He's also really fast. According to StatCast's Sprint Speed Leaderboard, Trout is one of the 30 fastest players in the game, running at an average speed of nearly 20 miles per hour on the base paths when he really hustles. He's used that speed to steal 185 bases in his career as of August 1st, and he's only been caught stealing 33 times. Since MLB started tracking stolen base attempts in 1951, that's the fewest number of times caught stealing for any player who's stolen as many bases as Trout has. And on top of the base thievery, Trout has also taken the extra base 58% of the time when the possibility presented itself to him. The league average in that category since Trout debuted has been around 40%. Now what does it mean to take an extra base, you ask? Well, for example, he went from first to third on a single 51% of the time. The rest of the league only does it 30% of the time. Trout is a base running genius, and on a per season basis, he's one of the 20 best base runners in baseball history. Finally, let's talk about defense. The offensive numbers speak for themselves, but Trout is a really good fielder as well. According to a mix of the defensive metrics at Fangraphs and Baseball Reference, Trout is already the 77th best fielder in history who primarily played outfield. Moreover, Trout is the best in the game today at one of baseball's most exciting plays, the home run robbery. Trout moving back, still drifting back. He's at the wall, leaps up, and he got it! According to data from ESPN Stats and Information Group, no outfielder from 2009 to 2017 was even close to matching Trout's 10 total home run robberies. So even if Trout doesn't want to be marketed, his stats speak for themselves. 
He is without a doubt the league's best player. But he's more than that. He's an all-time legend walking among us right now. Basically, no player in the history of baseball has ever had a better start to his career than Mike Trout. And when it's all over, Mike Trout really could become the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Happy 27th birthday, Mike.